Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering Atari 7800 using RetroArch and a core called Pro System. Now there is a standalone version of Pro System available, but I prefer using the RetroArch version. Everything from the standalone version has been ported over to the core in RetroArch, like the ability to easily exit the emulator without setting up any scripts, and our controller is already set up because RetroArch does that for us. So I prefer using the core in RetroArch. If you want to use the standalone version, you can always do that. But in this video, we're going to be covering Atari 7800 using RetroArch and the Pro System Core. So first things first, I have my Atari 7800 games right here. They're all zipped up. You could unzip them if you'd like to, but I leave mine zipped just to save a little bit of space. It's not going to be much at all, but it does work out pretty well in the end. The first thing we really need to do is download the core inside of RetroArch. So I'm going to head over to my LaunchBox folder, where I have LaunchBox installed. I also have my Emulators folder, RetroArch, and we're going to launch it from here. If you don't have RetroArch already set up with LaunchBox, I have a full tutorial. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm still using the XMB interface, and there are a couple other available, like Ozone, and some of you might be using that. But all of the menus we're going to be using are going to be named exactly the same thing. So from within RetroArch, we need to head down to Online Updater, Core Updater, and we need to find the Pro System Emulator. So we're going to scroll on down here to Atari 7800 Pro System. We got the core downloaded. We can now exit RetroArch. So now we're going to head back over to LaunchBox. And from the drop down menu, we're going to find Tools, Manage Emulators. From within here, we're going to find RetroArch. And we want to edit this. Associated Platforms. And we're going to locate Atari 7800. The Stella Core will be the default core, but we just downloaded the Pro System Core, so we need to find it from here. Little drop down menu, and we can find Pro System right here. Pro System underscore Libretro. Make sure we have default emulator checked, and click OK. So now, after we import these Atari 7800 games, we're going to be using the Pro System Core inside of RetroArch. And speaking of games, it's now time to import. So we're going to head up here to the drop down, tools, import, ROM files. We're going to locate our folder that contains our Atari 7800 game. So I'm going to add a folder and that's on my desktop. Yours may be located in a different place, but I'm going to choose this whole folder. These are all of my Atari 7800 games. I'm going to click OK and Next. From here, we want to scrape these games as Atari 7800. So we'll find it right here. Next, RetroArch should already be chosen because we've already set it up for 7800. If not, you can use the drop down. Click Next. And we're going to copy the files into our LaunchBox folder. Since they're on my desktop, I want them to be located in my LaunchBox directory so everything's portable. You can place them there before you import them if you'd like, but I'm going to copy the files because they're on my desktop. Search for game information from the LaunchBox Games database. Make sure this is checked. And Next. From here, we're going to download as much artwork as we can. And we don't need to specify any custom options for the Pro System emulator. After all, we're using RetroArch and it works amazingly with LaunchBox. Next, it's going to parse the files. It'll give us the name of the game, the game location, and the file type. Mine are all zipped. We'll click Finish. It's now going to import the games, download our metadata, and our artwork, so we'll give this a little time to finish up. So all of my games were successfully imported for Atari 7800. I'll click on OK. And over on the left hand side here, we now have an Atari 7800 section. And now we can actually start playing our 7800 games. You can either double click, or if you have controller automation turned on, you can select it with your controller. There's a few things I want to go over with the controls, so we're going to start double dragging. And as you can see, we're now playing Atari 7800. So like I said, I have that Xbox controller connected. If I press B, it's going to start the game for me. But there's one major thing I always like to change with the Pro System emulator. X button is set up to reset the system, so if I accidentally press that, it's going to reset my game. I'm going to use my menu toggle hotkey, and I set this up inside of RetroArch with R3 and L3. 
It's going to bring us into the RetroArch menu. We're now at the Emulator Core setting, so if we scroll down, we can find a section called Controls. And this is only going to affect this one core. Port 1 controls, that's my first player. Device type is set to RetroPad. I can set Analog on if I'd like to. RetroPad with Analog, so we don't have to use that D-Pad. And I personally like using the Analog Stick. So our B button is button 1 for the Atari 7800 controller. But if we go down to our X button, it's set to console reset, and I just kind of like turning this off. So now we can back up. And resume the game. Now if I press that button, my console is not going to reset on me, or the game's not going to reset. So from here, I'm using A and B. B is punch. A is kick. And we don't have that reset button anymore. To exit, you can always press escape on your controller. Or if you have the premium version of LaunchBox, you can press Start and Select, and you'll be brought to the Pause menu. We can save the game, load the game, and exit. If we choose Exit, it's going to bring us right back into LaunchBox. And basically, that's it. You now have Atari 7800 set up with LaunchBox, and it's definitely worth adding to your collection. But that's it for this video. We really appreciate you watching, and I hope you got Atari 7800 up and running with Pro System inside of LaunchBox. It's a really easy system to get up and running, but it's well worth adding to your LaunchBox collection. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.